All righty. Hello and welcome, everybody. To uh, oh, <laughs> I'm tongue tied, a tongue twister, stumbling over my own words. But hello and welcome to this fantastic dinosaur action. I mean, this you're going to be stunned and stumbling. You're going to feel the pain that the opponent hopefully feels tonight. Yes, turn three. Hasty Galta, you you read that right. Hmm, you're wondering. Man, that sounds pretty good. It's not going to happen a lot. It may not happen at all tonight, but I've done it a few times today. And, well, it's, it's going to be pretty good. But if it doesn't happen, we have a fantastic package game plan of just beating them up. Man, man. Oh, that's good, but I'll go through the turn three hasty gall to line. It is kind of magical Christmas land. It does need a total of eight cards by turn three. Ooh. Four lands, four creatures. You start off with Otepic Huntmaster, turn two, pretty simple. Turn three, you play Marauding Raptor for one. You can play your third land, whichever, but it's got to be Marauding Raptor. Ooh. So you're sitting at two reduction for a dinosaur. Wayward Swordtooth, there you go. Absolutely lovely, especially in this variation. But you play this for one green after the reduction of two, so you've spent one for Marauding, one for Wayward. Then you play an extra land on turn three. So you have two lands untapped still, because you play your third one, you play your fourth one, boom, there you go. You're sitting at, well, over 10 reduction. Wayward is 5 power. Marauding pings Wayward, so it's sitting at 4 plus the 1 reduction. You've got it all done right there. But of course you have Huntmaster to further reduce things. But you play Galta for 2 with all that reduction with those 2 lands. You've used up 2 of your 4. Boom. Huntmaster to give Galta haste because you played Huntmaster on the previous turn two and I, I don't know about you hopefully some of you guys have experienced that potential it certainly is very good indeed man it gets the job done but if we don't get to do that we still have the lovely backup oh, and this is foreshadowing I think whether it's lost caverns of Ixalan some other plane Muraganda I've mentioned it before, but Grook's Uprising with the dinosaurs, and it's only dinosaurs, that has to indicate something. Uh, you gotta figure, Adam, how's it going, how's it going? Hopefully, hopefully all is well. Hopefully we start off early enough with that turn three hasty Galta. In my quest to figure out the best, or at least my preferred card advantage options, whether that's drawing a card, doubling a creature, double power, like you have two of that creature you get the idea but whenever it enters the battlefield Grook's Uprising if you control a creature with power four or greater you draw a card so it's kind of like up the beanstalk in a sense entering the battlefield drawing a card and whenever a creature with power four or greater enters the battlefield under your control you draw a card and that is most of the creatures in the deck of course Wayward Swordtooth, boom, 5 power. And it's pretty easy, I must admit, to get to 10 permanents. You ascend, if you control 10 or more, you get the city's blessing, and you're able to attack and block with Wayward. So sometimes this is going to be 2 for a 5-5 five, five trample draw card with Grook's Uprising. It might be 1 green, like I mentioned, with the potential of turn 3, Hasty Galta. But even if you top deck this, you have a Huntmaster and a Marauding and a Grook's Uprising out. Boom. You have nothing. You draw Wayward Swordtooth. One green for a 5-5. Five, five. Trample. Draw a card. You might get something else that you can easily play. Chain a bunch of Wayward Swordtooths. You might play Wayward Swordtooth for a green. You draw Ripjaw Raptor. Play that for two. A total of three. Marauding pings rip jaw, so you draw a card and you draw a card with Grook's Uprising, and you, things get insane, absolutely. And of course, creatures you control having trample, that is very important, as some of you may have experienced 
In the past, Marauding Raptor getting big. When it pings a dinosaur, it gets plus two plus oh. Yeah, it could be eight power. That's pretty rare. But even if it's six power, you don't have to worry about it being chump blocked. And hmm, yeah, Scorpion, absolutely. This is about as dino time as it gets. Classic, fantastic. Maybe I've found the right mix for Grook's Uprising and Heraldic Banner, which I am still loving. Man, this is doing the trick. Most of my creatures, most of the dinos are green, and normally they have been, so it continues to be a pretty nice option. Choosing a color, it basically always is green. So creatures we control of the chosen color get plus one, plus oh. They get bigger, that's what it's all about. And we tap for a green mana, which is also lovely. Oh, your Serith deck list is finished now. Oh, that is good. Speaking of Serith, I think, I mean, it makes sense. If Grook's Uprising gives all our creatures trample, Serith making everything have death touch when it's tapped. Ooh, ooh that would be... That would be divine. But yeah, un at least until uh, Lost Caverns of Ixalan comes out, man. We're getting spoiled. We're kind of getting spoiled with the Doctor Who set. A bunch of dinosaur stuff. Just a bunch of fantastic potential cards for Commander. I don't, I don't know. I have to, I might have to make a Doctor Dino set. Or, yeah, something like that. A Doctor Dino deck. Yeah, that's, that's what I might do. Look into it. At the very least, that'd be kind of funny. Oh, dinosaurs in space. Absolutely going to be a game changer. Hopefully we get something like that with Lost Caverns of Ixalan. And I'll certainly be crossing my fingers. Ah, oh. Moving back to Heraldic Banner, though. It's a thing that ramps. We can use that mana to turn it lands. And it makes everything bigger. We have a bunch of creatures. We top deck this. Mm, that's still pretty good. We can't really use the mana if that was the only card we have in our hand, but we do more damage, and there's a very good chance we could have quite a few bodies on the battlefield. Might just be three, it could be, you know, a Wayward Sword Tooth, a Wayward Sword Tooth and Regisaur, especially Regisaur, because it is two bodies, and both bodies are green, so you get plus one, plus oh to, ah, extra value. Hmm, it's fantastic. Make Carnage Tran bigger, Tranix Rex. That's the ticket. Man, man, that does the job. Nothing too fancy, just a lot of card draw with Rip Draw with Garooks. Flooded in cards. Sometimes that can happen, absolutely. Mana based lands are 23, so it is a little bit higher. That should be quite nice. And the single copy of Dharma you see as well, it's kind of serving as a fifth heraldic banner in a sense a little bit of interaction but the main plan is just to bury the opponent in better creatures with better card draw uh, beat them up absolutely you can sprinkle in some sort of interaction somewhere in the mixture here but i kind of like going all in on one thing even if they have some creatures i would imagine my stuff will be able to blast right through I wouldn't really want to cut Wayward Sword Tooth. I want to maximize the chances of seeing Grooks Uprising. And I love Heraldic Banner, Rip Jaw. I could maybe see trimming some Rip Jaws for some interaction, but still, that is lovely. Super duper card draw. Hmm. A match made in heaven. Tons of stuff. But yeah, the earliest earliest turn Galta could hit is uh, turn three, hasty. Turn three, hasty Galta. That's what we're hoping for. Mm. Crossing the fingers, crossing the fingers. Yeah, Marauding Raptor, MVP, big time. Oh, oh, are you meaning a uh, scorpions list? Yeah, I got to try and uh, got to try commander at some point. I'll do it. I'll do it. A little bit more historic brawl as well. That'll be coming up. Oh, there's so many MVPs. Whether it is commander or 60 card formats like this, hmm. Regisaur, Marauding. Hmm. Certainly, Marauding is better than a 
Lenore Elf or an Elvish Mystic. You'd want it with the Elves as well, but Huntmaster too. Uh, you play this, you play Marauding, you stack that cost reduction and just go absolutely explosive. But a 100% Regisaur 7 and 1. And going back to the power increase. Heraldic Banner increasing the power of most of the stuff. That could be the thing that helps cast Galta easier. If I have this out and then I go Regisaur, that's 9 power. That's That's pretty insane. I probably have other creatures, so that's just going to do the extra push to increase the total power and get her down. Hmm. Yeah, definitely. This, and that's probably why I stay away from it a little bit. It's not my preferred format, but I do love it. The inconsistency, you know, sometimes stuff happens. Sometimes it doesn't. Certainly it's more for sitting around kitchen table having fun yeah, yeah i love uh pretty much always seeing marauding all my favorites there's probably many games where you just never see this because you only have a single copy of well everything oh yeah a dinosaur that you can have as many as possible Ooh, that'd be that'd be lovely maybe maybe we'll get that with lost caverns of ixland you never know hmm but you do know Back to Nature is going to do the trick. Destroying all enchantments as always. Let's not worry about anything that focuses on that. Shifting Ceratops. Well, that's got to be it. Pretty straightforward. Blue stuff. Check. Counter spells. Check. Reach Trample or Haste. Mm, fantastic package. Sometimes I do start off with shifting as you guys may have seen. But I just wanted to jam pack the card draw to begin with anger of the gods well it's a sweeper it kills a lot of stuff and i still like that exile clause there getting around to death triggers anything like that or just never having to worry about particular creatures coming back from the graveyard hmm, man tranquil frillback i had this at four copies but i moved some stuff around i wanted to Anger of the Gods to be in as well. But Tranquil Frillback, potentially. This could enter as for power. It would draw a card from Garuk's Uprising. Heraldic Banner or Domri would increase it to four. Boom. There you go. That's absolutely fantastic. Drawing a card from that. Possibly drawing a card from the Dinosaur Token as well. Two cards with Regisaur Alpha. If we have something that is increasing the token's power. Hmm. Man. The damage is rising, that is that is for sure. But also Tranquil Frillback just covering lots of lovely, lovely angles there. Artifacts, enchantments, graveyards, gain a bit of life. And finishing things off, two Tyrannix Rex, because, well, if we face off against Control, we just uh, bring it in, pretty straightforward, trim some Galtas, and yeah, that'll do it. I right, so we jump into the matches. Yes, you can only do once, unfortunately. You could bounce it, whatever, but I would imagine that, you know, drawing a card potentially with this variation and doing all that stuff, that's going to be good. Very, very good. Uh, no no shifting Ceratops to start tonight, but uh, always, always shifting Ceratops somewhere in the 75. I would say more often it's would have started with but uh, we will be getting cavern of souls so i can make all dinosaurs not be countered and that should make all the difference we may not need shifting in as much i have loved starting out with it to give us a better chance in game one against things that do have counter spells but i'll get uh, used to maybe keeping it in the sideboard now yeah. we'll see if we face off against spirits in the first match or Azorius control something painful like that Ugh. yikes it's gonna be good either way man pretty much guaranteed wayward sword tooth playing extra lands a turn 
That also could accelerate us quite a bit. Maybe we keep a hand that has a bunch of lands and wayward, maybe three lands, and then we draw a few for the first few turns. And when we do play Wayward Swordtooth, we just get to explode with extras and possibly get that turn four Carnage Tyrant because of Wayward Swordtooth playing extras each turn. Oh, Cavern of Souls in your Gishath deck. Yeah, definitely. A hundred percent. You want to put a stop to that when you're paying so much. That only has to happen once or twice, I would imagine, having something so expensive. Oh, hoes. My goodness, that is almost it. We're if oh oh boy oh boy if we see Galta we might have it, folks. We got four lands: Marauding, Huntmaster, Wayward, Galta. Chant with me, Galta. Oh boy, oh boy. If we draw Galta next turn, one of three copies. It's uh, turn three, Hasty Galta. Oh, oh, it's not Galta. It's not Galta. The nuts. But it is going to be very explosive. The opponent only has one land. They're not going to be countering anything. I'm just going to play stuff out. I'm going to be able to play basically all the lands I have. This is probably the best. Maybe we get swept next turn. Hopefully that's not the case. But hey, that's pretty good for turn three. You got to admit. No sweeper. Oh, yes, no. Oh, Strict Proctor. Oh, oh boy. Oh, boy. We got 10 permanents. We got 10 permanents. Go time. Go time. Ooh, look at that. Turn four. We turn on two Wayward Sword Twos. Hey, we got swept. They're at six. We can play Tranix Rex. Or we can draw a land. Um, you know, that can happen. Yeah, but that's a pretty good example of what I was just saying. Ooh, explosive, accelerate, wayward sword tooth. I mean, would you expect to have ten permanents on? Oh, they're finally carnage turned. I was gonna say, my goodness, but yeah, ten permanents on turn four. I don't think so. Yeah, absolutely, Adam. What happened to the dinos? It was, um, it was certainly rough. But you saw how lovely that is. You can imagine, you're like, hmm, I could jam more Tyrannix Rexes into this list. We can be super duper explosive. I only have one copy. Maybe I could have all four Tyrannix Rexes. <laughs> That's kind of why I like 22 lands and not 23. A little bit rough. Hopefully they don't have Settled Wreckage. I'll be crossing my... Okay, discontinuity. That's all right. Kind of strange they wouldn't use it before we drew a card. Huh. huh. Oh, oh my god. Wow. Uh, in the top quarter of the deck, I would hope to see five or six ish lands, but I'm seeing uh, five, six, seven, eight, ten. Ten. Ten lands in the top quarter. If 10 was a quarter of, of my total lands, that, uh, yeah, no, no, that, that mean I'd have like 40 in the deck. Ugh. The flood, the flood is real. They don't have a whole lot, which is quite nice. Dream Trawler does have to block. Hey, we got Heraldic Banner, that's not nothing. At least we do get to take out Dream Trawler. That is pretty darn fantastic. that's how it goes you can't get too flustered with scenarios like this it certainly could happen with 22 21 now I just have to hope they are desperate they have to find something for carnage tarrant they only have three lands three mana untapped potentially <laughs> strict proctor is not gonna do it oh boy 
Oh, oh, Heraldic Banner, if they don't have a counter. Carnage Tyrant, nine power. Go time. Man, that's what a start to the night. My goodness. We got very fortunate. This is Esper Lotus Field. They did not see or get any Lotus Field to, to begin with. Thespian stage there. Lotus Field tapping for three mana. I think most of us are aware of that. Uh, Strict Proctor turning off Lotus Field's sacrificing ability. So they just play it. Phew. Phew. Okay. Well, it's certainly... Well, I mean, it could get more flooded than that. I don't want to jinx myself. However, uh, Galta will trim that. Like I mentioned, bring in the T-Rexes. Three copies is still pretty good. It's not... Excuse me, it's not quite four. We still have a little bit of room shifting Ceratops. Yep. Rip Jar Raptor. You know what? Let's go with Tranquil Frillback. I like the sounds of that. Yeah, I could maybe trim Wayward Swordtooth, switch that for the full amount of Tranquil Frillbacks. The full amount that I have, three or four, whichever it is. Just because Wayward Swordtooth helping to play Galta, uh, maybe I don't want Wayward Swordtooth if I don't have Galta, if I've boarded her out. Hmm, don't exactly like that. Not super explosive. Yeah, if it goes to game three, we'll bring in all of them, all of them. But I think that makes pretty good sense. We still could draw a bunch. We could see 10 permanents. However, in this matchup, uh, maybe the chance to see 10 permanents is a little bit less. Countering, sweeping, we certainly got uh, very fortunate, that's for sure. Hmm. Nope, it got worse. It got worse. I was like, oh, I should try to keep it, but uh, big time worse. Okay, okay. Well, there's the there's the keep. Okay, uh, we'll get there. I think we'll get there. Interesting. Drawing uh, another Wayward Swordtooth. Man, three in less than the top ten. Crazy. They got Strict Proctor. Question is, will it be... Lotus Field. Next turn. If it is, we still might be okay. Oh, good. Good, good, good. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm liking this. Big time. Okay, okay, yeah. Beautiful. I suspect I have some sort of counter spell somewhere mixed in here. Meh. One free mulligan would be nice, I must admit. I'll just play all this stuff and... Okay, there's that change the equation. Well, we drew it out at the very least. No point in attacking with Marauding Raptor. Huntmaster giving it haste. Strict Proctor is three toughness, so the two power of Marauding... Yeah. No, ooh, oh my goodness, what is going on? This is insanity. All four of the Wayward Swordtooths in just under, just over the top 10. 49 cards in. We sent two to the bottom. Uh, well, we'll try for Heraldic Banner. That would be nice. Oh, okay. Play it. See what happens. Yeah, that's kind of kind of how I'm feeling. Just wayward, wayward, wayward. Oh my goodness. <sighs> we still have a decent amount of permits. Four, five, eight. All right. Yeah, absolutely. I, and I forgot to use the initial D one. Man, that would have. What? What the hell just happened? How did he do that? <laughs> what, what, 
well. Uh, okay. Literally, as I said, I forgot to use the clip from Initial D. I had my finger... Oh, I was talking about it. I was about to go back to the next page of my stream deck, or the first page, because I have two now. I, I don't think I had a whole lot of fun, yeah. I didn't even get to play game two, really. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> my goodness. Maybe they didn't draw more lands, or... Something I'd, I'm very curious. Again, I wish when the game or the match is completely over, it should show you what the opponent had in their hands. If the match is over, you're not facing them again, so it's not like extra information is revealed. If their hand was revealed in game one, it could help you determine what to sideboard if they haven't done a whole lot. But if it's the final game of the match, for the match win, I, I say reveal it, because, hmm. Yeah, maybe he, he was not the mama. Hmm. But yeah, I'm just happy I had perfect timing. Man, hashtag pre-recorded. There you go. That is a moment you would think was pre-recorded, ready and waiting. It's just too good to be scripted makes it all that much better when moments like that are live, of course. Yeah. His head's exploding. Probably something like that. Paid actors. Oh, you never know. You never know. Maybe this is all lined up. I make it look like it's completely random and ranked, but I've found certain people and uh, somehow maybe I've hacked the system and uh, you know, I make it look good. I make the opponent try a little bit and then I, I text them. I texted that Esper Lotusfield opponent. Oh, hey, concede right now. That would be really funny. And then they did that because they are paid actors. Yeah. Whew. I don't have that much money. But this looks like a lovely hand. We've got three mana. Sheltered Thicket to start, because it enters tapped, stomping ground, and then our third land, Rockfall Veil, because then it will enter untapped. Turn two, Hunt Master. Turn three, Ripjaw. And the single Tyrannix Rex. Lovely, lovely to see this. Nope, I can't play it. Oh, hold on a second. If it is best of one, that doesn't come up. It's just randomly chosen. Lose an arena and get paid. Oh, yeah. Would be pretty fun. But yeah, yeah, best of one is just rolls the dice and you don't get to choose. But best of three, you do. <laughs> to be expected, if you see a thought sees. You know what's waiting in the wings. <coughs> oh my goodness, excuse me. Question becomes, counterspell or killing? Uh, we're going to try for Heraldic Banner. Hopefully. Could be Demir Rogues. But... We get ahead, hopefully in a stable way. We're at five. If I draw one more land, I get Carnage turned. It, oh. Well, if that land was Castle Garenbrig, I would have gotten Tranix Rex. There's a pretty good chance uh, we'll get there. Hopefully. Yeah, if they pay an Ixalan Pax, I'll, I'll definitely lose on purpose. Grixis, though. Grixis Control black blue and red I mean it's an even oh oh okay okay discard wayward sword tooth that's rough yeah uh, even nastier package I mean if you hated black and blue combined now you got to deal with red Colgan's command absolutely fantastic 
doing a lot of work. Returning a creature from a graveyard to your hand, discarding a card, destroying an artifact, dealing two da- oh, oh, you gotta be kidding. Back to- While the algorithm is, uh, righting a wrong for how badly I beat that Lotus Field opponent. They're like, ah, we, we can't- we can't have that stuff happen again. Hmm. Oh, okay. Well... I'll just draw the, a third heraldic banner. Huh. Huh. Thumbs up. Oh, there we go. There we go. We got the six land. We're at six mana. Go, go. Carnage time. Eight, six. No shieldred Zedix. Don't, don't make us sacrifice this. No, please. Please. Third time left. My man, this has certainly been one of the most crazy starts in a while. Grant me revenge, and if you do not listen, then the hell with you. Well, there's the castle, Garenbrink. Able to make six green. That would be nice, I must admit. Hmm. Oh, I should, I should, that reminds me, Adam, seeing you say dough, I should do something with Homer Simpson where he smacks his head. That would be perfect. Not a whole lot you can do in some situations. You just lose. Go for the throat. Pretty good. Pretty good. But in this situation, of course, I would hope to get Tyrannix Rex. That would be pretty lovely stuff. Yeah. Although it's a pretty low chance. I only have one. And you can see we're still getting to... Tranix Rex, uh, yeah, eventually, pretty easily getting at least enough mana, seven or six if we have cost reduction, but uh, I could see myself upping T-Rex. Is it better more often to start with Galta, or is it better more often to start with Tranix Rex, have Galta in the sideboard, bring her in, if there's a matchup that well, they might not interact too, too much, too much. Well, 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 see what Sheltered Thicket gets me, and um, we'll pack it in after that. <laughs> Regis or Alpha, that's not going to do it. Oof. The Hey Samurai, oh, that doesn't sound good. It disappears into the bush. But yeah, that was definitely oof. Prefer Galta? Yeah, man. Yeah. It is so amazing, overwhelming, explosive, hard for the opponent to deal with. Even some control player. Maybe, you know, they've dealt with Marauding and Regisaur, but you have some Wayward Sword Tooth out. You don't have 10 permanents, so the opponent is not super duper threatened by this. But it does have the power, increasing the total power to get Galta. And you could sneak her in. Big time. However, I'll trim. Two copies. Two Tyrannix Rexes. Yeah. It's still pretty easy to get her down. That can make all the difference. Yeah. Try it out. Try a bunch with, without. See how you like it. It's really hard to say. You could have a batch of matches or games against control and you're like, man, I love having T-Rex. But then you have a whole bunch of matches against something that doesn't have counter spells doesn't interact a whole lot and then you're like ooh I could have used Galta instead more Galtas less T-Rex and find the mixture that you prefer however there is a counter spell shifting Ceratops that's uh, coming in big time 100% trim ripjaw all right pretty straightforward Oh yes, oh the disappear into the bush, the Homer Simpson one, yeah, he just, hmm. Especially if I make a mistake, that would be a perfect clip for that, for those moments. Hmm. Actually, I'm going to write that down so I don't forget. There's certainly so many good ideas, it's hard to get around to adding everything, but I'll get there, I'll get there. Oh, that's a good hand. OK, 
Okay, okay. Yeah. Turn two marauding. Possibly Grook's uprising on turn three. We'll see. They might thought seize. Get rid of Mar Okay, no thought seize. Well, I'm happy about that. No source of black. You got to be excited. Man. Imagine they'll get some source of... Oh, okay. Ooh, ooh, oh, my goodness. Well, they probably have a counter spell. I bet. Make disappear. How about I make your life total disappear? Yeah. Gotcha. And again, whenever we do play groups, we should be drawing a card when it enters. So it's not like, oh, we play it. And, uh, ooh, okay. Yeah, it's going to be shifting. No. We want to be at four for Regis or Alpha maximum aggression. They only have one mana, so I would imagine we're pretty safe. Hopefully. I like the looks of that as opposed to keeping shifting. Marauding dealt. Oh! Ruthless aggression! Oh! Yeah, time to shift the momentum. Absolutely. But right there, marauding hit for six. If I would have sacrificed marauding, shifting would have hit for five, and I wouldn't have been able to play Regisaur with the cost reduction from marauding. I would have been at four. The only play would have been Grook's Uprising, and that, well, I wouldn't have been quite as good. Yeah. Oh, a match made in heaven. Marauding Raptor, kind of like two Llanowar Elves or Elvish Mystics. Cost reduction could help you play multiple things. And it costs twice as much. Some people don't like that, but sometimes you get a hit an opponent for six. That's like six mana dorks worth of damage yeah Whew. and of course you sprinkle in some enrage synergy potentially whenever rip jaws dealt damage or ranging raptors all of those usual suspects Ooh. puts it over the top i would say do i want to do anything else tranquil frill back well, not so much probably not Certainly I would imagine there's Kroxa, Titan of Death's Hunger, somewhere sprinkled in. Maybe not the whole playset, but uh, perhaps. So, Exile in the Graveyard, ooh. It does, it does, but Grook's Uprising, giving the trample to everything, kind of serves as a helpfulness. Kind of how I was liking Gorkla. Trample to stuff, boom. Get through more damage. Grooks, though, is card draw. And yeah. I don't have to attack with Gore Claw to give Trample to everything. Grooks just naturally does that. So it could be more preferable. Yeah. However, this looks pretty decent. Oof. Oh, shifting as well. Hopefully, we get a sneak in Domri and they don't have a counter spell. I'd be surprised. Oh, yeah, Huntmaster. Well, we'll play it. We'll watch it die or get countered. And oh, oh. They have nothing. They had two mana. They had no fatal push, no stomp. Uh, okay, I'll play shifting instead. But, oh, my goodness. What is going on, folks? Whoa. Whoa. Wow. I can hardly believe it. I mean, we'd almost get Galta next turn. Not quite. If we get Mara... Oh, okay. Okay. You know what? I kind of like keeping shifting. Mm -hmm. Let's try for Domri. I imagine whatever we... Okay, well. Yeah, they probably didn't have too many counter spells. They didn't counter anything previously, but just getting Domri down. It's like Heraldic Banner, but it is better than Heraldic Banner in this instance. Uh, hopefully they don't have Planeswalker Destruction, but yes, let's go. Let's go, boys. Absolutely. <laughs> Gold's Bay and Dragon taking out Domri. A little bit unfortunate, so... I mean, you can see right here how that ramp 
and the increase to power is certainly a lot less stable than Heraldic Banner. That's too bad. Nuts. Oh, oh okay. Wow, never mind. <laughs> Dead now. He's big time. Certainly Carnage Tyrant, I would imagine, but we can't attack with Carnage Tyrant. That's the thing. It doesn't have haste, so we could just go read. Uh, no, whatever. What am I thinking? When you see the thing, just do that thing, and we'll get him next turn. Don't, don't, don't be fancy. But maybe there is a scenario sometimes where you know Regisaur is gonna live, so you might as well play Regisaur that turn if you're like super certain. And then the following turn you play Carnage Tyrant. Regisaur gives it haste, and you get to attack with Carnage Tyrant as if you had played it the previous turn anyways it is basically the same uh, heraldic banner nope nope we want galto we want regisaur we want to make the oh okay wow castle garenbrig makes six we need a total of seven to play regisaur plus galta we need one source of red we're left with rockfall veil vale as our one source of red regisaur first so galta potentially doesn't use uh oh boy oh boy oh oh counter spell no counter spell huh surprise You won! You did it! Yeah, I, I certainly thought it was removal. Victor, Victor, how's it going? Man, strap yourself in. If you're just catching up or if you're just joining right now, man. Contemplating life decisions that uh, made him reach this point. Wishing. Wishing, uh, man. I wish I was playing dinosaurs like that. I was like, oh, I thought dinosaurs were absolutely terrible. Lost Caverns of Ixlan. Oh, man. Oh, get him a bottle. Ah, I haven't, I haven't added that yet. Man, I keep forgetting. I'll get the, the get him a body bag. You're gonna need more than one body bag after that, though. My goodness, gonna need a, a lot of body bags. You're gonna need a big body bag, Nicol Bolas. I mean, that is a. Uh, just a massive creature, a massive planeswalker. Uh, special order. Certainly going to cost a lot. Man. Although I guess magic and stuff, you could find some magician to make a body bag that is big enough to fit Nicol Bolas. Ooh. Yeah, I have flyers. How can I lose? Man. Man. Oh. Oh. Okay, well, let's get on to the next one. Yeah, pretty decent. Haven't really drawn a whole lot with Grook's Uprising, so maybe you just need Ripjaw. Of course, I will say to get as big of a sample size with whatever variation you're playing. That might be pretty hard if you only play a few matches a day. You might want to play different stuff and... Maybe an opinion is colored. If you have three or four matches or games where it just doesn't work out, the deck, the idea might be good, but you are starting to think, oh, perhaps not. See it in lots of scenarios, if you can stomach that, of course. Mini has, how's it going, how's it going? I didn't, I didn't get Galt on turn three yet. But how do I get it? Oh, okay. Eight mana is a Talpa is legal in Explorer. Yes. Well, hopefully, hopefully we get this. In game two, I'll explain the turn three hasty Galta with everything. This is getting kind of close to Galta. It could be turn three, but uh, yeah, it does require eight cards to get turn three hasty Galta, so... That is magical Christmas land. It's not going to happen too often. 
But if it doesn't happen, you still, oh, yeah. you still do good stuff. And we got our third land, so I think we're gonna do good stuff. Oh, <laughs> Ew. I mean, there's a very good chance you're gonna face something with thoughts. These I, I heard it's pretty good. I don't know about you guys. Uh, I see a lot of people using this. <laughs> Seems all right again. They're paying one black to lose two life. That's like the worst thing in the world. I think this should be an uncommon, at least, downshifted. That's not good, man. Yeah, who would do that? That's a joke, if anybody's wondering. I don't actually believe that. I'm just pretty good at keeping a straight face hopefully drawing a third land or another oh, not quite okay well we'll go with heraldic banner we will still get ahead by one pretty stably hopefully they don't have a braid to destroy an artifact yeah, yeah that would be unfortunate yeah certainly cards have been banned for less than thought sees mm, we got we got domri i would certainly die to Bone Crusher Giant. We'll just play Wayward. Not the best thing in the world. They certainly won't use removal on it. Yeah. We can play Domri next turn. At the very least, we can use Wayward to fight Bone Crusher Giant or Shieldred. Keep in mind, we could take out Shieldred as well. Oh! Absolutely Xenagos. And certainly I could, maybe I should just sprinkle in a copy of it absolutely Ew. nuts they got rid of it but yeah sprinkle in a copy of xenagos oh, okay never mind we got uh we, we we got this uh casually dropping nine power for five mana four of it hasty ooh, ooh, that is good uh they don't have any more removal they die next turn they die next turn they have to pay two to draw a card to get removal for one of these things. I did try out battles. Absolutely. There is some synergies. 100%. I could look into more of the battles. I have just... Oh, okay. Let me think. But four, we got eight. Oh, oh. Let's just do uh, Wayward Sword Tooth. Yeah, yeah. I like that. And uh, Galta. And uh, we'll get to 10. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, wow. That's, uh, that's pretty good. Uh, you can see the amazing potential. The fairly consistent getting to weigh three. Three for a six, five haste. Dang! Oh. Yeah, he here we go. This is, this is pretty pretty legit again this is a small sample size i could lose a lot more you got to admit it's uh it's pretty good and i have done this mixture before i've used grooks uprising for years now printed at m21 mixing and matching who knows who knows if i found maybe the right mixture with wayward grooks play galta super cheap no, oh, life finds a way. When the blocker math adds up, they explode. Absolutely. But yes, uh, Mini Hass, you're mentioning about how do you get turn 3 Galta. We'll go into that again. For anybody that missed the start of the stream, again, I mentioned 8 cards, 4 lands, 4 creatures. You play Huntmaster on turn 2. Boom. Love it. Then you play Marauding Raptor on turn 3 for 1 red because it's reduced by... Huntmaster. Then you play Wayward for one green because it's reduced by two with the Marauding you just played and the Huntmaster. So in total, on turn three, you've spent two mana. You still may not have played your land for the turn, but you can play two lands. So you play your land for the turn and then you play an extra land and you have two untapped. You're sitting with Wayward, Marauding. Both of those two are enough reduction 10 marauding has pinged wayward to be
be at 4 power, plus Marauding's 1 reduction, it's like it's reducing by 5, and then Wayward the power, reducing by 5. Galt already is reduced to 2, and then Huntmaster, which was already out. When you play Galta with your other 2 of 4 lands, boom. Huntmaster gives Galta haste, and you're off to the races. But yeah, 8 total cards. Uh, I'll keep it as is. I'll keep it as is. Oh, the life finds a way meme. Absolutely. I gotta, I gotta do some... Oh, very, very interesting stuff. It catches opponents off guard. But again, it's not the entire identity of the deck. If it happens, of course, it's hard to handle for lots of opponents. But if it doesn't happen, you still play tons of fantastic bodies. Your backup plan is, well, it's not really a backup plan. It's more like uh, the main plan. And then you get a drop Galta sometimes. Lots of card draw. Oh. Knock, knock, Victor. Ooh, oh boy, I like knock, knock jokes. I imagine we'll be losing Huntmaster to any number of things, Stomp. All that. Some kind of... Yes, good, good, good. There will absolutely be some nice additions, 100%. Hopefully this gives inspiration, of course. They seem to already be good. I am biased, 100%, but uh, happy to have you here, Mini Hass. Turbo Master, how's it going? Hopefully all is well. I do like that, and that's one of my favorite knock-knock jokes. Not exactly, but I say knock-knock, and the person says, who there? Uh, who's there? And I just keep a... I say nothing. I have a blank face. I'm looking at them. And oftentimes it doesn't clue in there. Like, come on, say something. But I don't say something, because the person has went away after they've knocked on the door and... It's, when it finally clicks. Yeah. Do I want to play Rip Drop to draw a card to lose two life to... Well, probably just lose, I would imagine. I'll just go with Heraldic Banner. Either way, it's going to be painful. It's probably not going to happen for us this game. I, I think that's a joke. I think that's a joke, Scorpion. I, I'm happy for any knock knock joke, absolutely. Oh, yeah, I can't play. What am I thinking? I'm not dead. <laughs> Anything I play, I die. Draw a card. <laughs> That's all right. Well, we tried uh, some stuff. Yeah. I certainly could have brought in Anger of the Gods. We'll keep it like that. We got the job done pretty nicely. But Anger of the Gods can be quite devastating against. Rakdos mid-range, taking out a wide range of their creatures. Not Shieldred, unfortunately, but that's okay. We got Lovely Lands, Marauding, Ripjaw, Castle Garenbrig to get. Yeah, who's there? Who's there? I imagine it's going to get a little bit confusing if we're all saying knock-knock in the chat. Who's saying who's there to who? Huh. Yeah. Hopefully Marauding lives, but at the very... Okay, well, it doesn't. We got Heraldic Banner next turn, and that's pretty good. Get ahead by one. Get more power eventually. Yeah. Certainly. Not the worst thing in the world. We get Carnage Tarrant on turn four if we draw it. Man, that would be divine. Ooh, they tapped out. They're tapped out. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. We'll certainly read Sor Alpha. I love it when they're tapped out and they can't fatal push that token. That's that's pretty good. I'll take it. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know if anyone knocks anymore. Is 
sacrifice the token. Pretty straightforward, I would imagine. Ooh, ooh. I want to take out that goblin. Man, let me think. Four, two. Yeah, let's just Regis or Alpha here. We should be able to take out Lillian, I would imagine. Good, 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 good. Phew. Hopefully they don't have another one. All of, all of who? I jinx myself. That's what I did. Hey, you know what? I might want to go Domri next turn. Ripjaw. Reflection. Hope they don't have a fatal push that takes this. Oh, they do. They don't. Oh, phew. Reflection of Kiki Jiki is going down. Oh, down. Big time. And I can still play the other Ripjaw. That is also beautiful. That's what you want to do. Perfection. Hmm. I hear Ripjaw is pretty decent. Eh, you know what? We'll just hit him in the face for six. That is very good. I'm not worried about having to discard the Rockfall Veil. I have enough lands, and I think six damage is pretty valuable. All of the dinos invading your base. Ooh, that is... I like that. That is good. There's the... All of our... Bases belong to you or us something about bases belonging to people i don't exactly remember but oh, look at that token that token is a 5-3 we're stacking the increased power with heraldic banner and domri plus two plus O oh, to every creature i have that's good that's very good all your base belong to us yes yes that is that is it on the tip of my tongue the cake is a lie something like that certainly nice to oh golf uh, okay okay might as well well let's let's ramp a bit oh a, this would be the get him a body bag moment from the karate kid whoo <laughs> Rip Jaw Raptor, take out the two goblins, draw two cards. Aw, oh, nuts. I really wish I didn't have to sacrifice my token. Extinction event is not one sided. We would ha still have Regis or Alpha. Oh, okay, okay, well. Just keep getting the job done. Certainly nice to have a fantastic night where it's just wins and wins and wins who knows who knows maybe i've cracked it certainly i'll keep trying different variations and we'll get there again i have lots of perspective having tried so many things and having the examples the over 400 probably 450 separate live streams of different treats 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 tweaks spins some pretty crazy and wacky some others yeah try to face me oh okay okay we we can do that we can do that absolutely a live face off between turbo master Ooh, oh boy there does there does i'm pretty sure there must be yeah adam have a good one off to bed good luck i'll certainly need it Turbo Masters brought me pain before. I guess we could do like a, a fan fight sort of thing. Explore, best of three. Eh. Yeah, let's do it. Have a little bit of a divergence if anybody wants to face me. 
아 오케이 오케이 Oh, you don't? Yeah, it's weird. It, it's some sort of glitch. Uh, complete three quick draft matches and you get an extra thousand gold. It is Brothers War quick draft. It's some weird thing. Uh, certainly I don't want to pay 5,000 gold to do a quick draft, but keep in mind, I'm just going to wait for this quest that I didn't expect. Some people see it, some don't. But I'll wait for Lost Caverns of Ixlan to do the quest when this quest is quick draft Lost Caverns of Ixlan. That's my main thinking. Why I'm just leaving it there just to maximize my chances of, you know, seeing good things. I could do a draft. Yeah, Ixlan draft. I'm saving everything. I've got four draft tokens ready and waiting. I might do a bunch of drafts and get everything I need from the set for Lost Caverns of Ixland, so I may not even have to spend my, excuse me, 175,000 gold. I hope to be pretty close to 200,000 when it releases, but uh, that's good news, Victor. Finished your Python EDH calculator. Oh, I'm going to be looking forward to that when I do play Commander and brawl a little bit more eventually but yeah any new calculator and a calculator like you mentioned that is better in certain ways than other ones i'm all for it iterate you see how it can be better and you make something better whatever it is doesn't matter that's pretty fantastic mm. Mm. love it love it I'll get that spell table, 100%. I think the camera is pretty decent. Decent enough. Maybe I should get a second camera. I've always been wondering that. A behind the scenes look. And also I've been thinking of streaming on uh, Twitter or X. Use my phone right here. My phone right here, so kind of like have it behind my head, sort of start the live stream so when people see me playing the game they can get directed towards my youtube live stream or just see a different view that would be kind of cool oh i must admit and i have done drafts before speaking of quick drafts or just regular drafts hmm. yeah that will open up the list we'll wait for Turbo Master to finish that match there, have a face off. And again, if anybody else wants to face me right now, explore best of three. If you're not a friend, add me. Where's that? Here. That's what it is Tarzan number 09874. Add me as a friend because it's easier to do some challenge matches like that. It's always lovely to have a try it out, maybe face some of you guys when I'm not streaming. If you see me on Arena playing on my phone, certainly that is a possibility. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Let's let's check that clip. Oh, the don't go. Yeah, the don't go into the grass one. Ooh, I like this. Oh, I, I'm using that 100%. That's perfect. Some little Rakdos mid-range opponent. They're like, oh, I don't have to worry. I'm going to save removal for something bigger. But the bigger thing is Carnage Tarrant. They missed their window. They didn't take out Huntmaster or Marauding Raptor. And then all of a sudden, like the Raptors in that clip there, jumping out of the grass. Some of you guys may know that. Like, oh, we're safe. Oh, they're, they're coming to chase us. And all of a sudden, whoosh, gotcha. Tranix Rex, Carnage Tarrant. Oh, beautiful. That was perfect. Nash, how's it going? Well, you don't, uh, you know, best of one. Let's do, uh, let's do best of one. If you want to play best of one, 
Explorer, no sideboard. Doesn't matter. It's a good time either way. Facing off against you guys. Best one, best of three. Okay, okay. Oh, Scorpion, good stuff. Adding me right there. Yeah, again, if you missed it. Tarzan, number 909874. Oh, hey, that's all right. Certainly people want to relax, usually. And best of three is, well, less relaxing. You want to churn through a lot of games. Best of one, usually they're pretty quick, so... You see a lot of different stuff. You just don't want to think too hard. You don't have to choose who goes first or second. Yeah, wow. It's not all about being famous, but that certainly would help me do this sooner, full time. That's the plan. I'll just keep working towards that, doing this, having a good time with all of you guys and I would imagine I get there. I certainly could have more of a focused plan, but it's not like I have a crazy amount of time to do different things, set stuff up. Ah. Bull Shack Praxix. I must admit it is sort of hard. Sometimes uh, people's YouTube's names are different from their arena names. Oh, Nash. Nash is Bullshack. Okay. All right, here we go. Facing off against... Uh... Oh, oh, this, this is going to be good. I'm excited. But you just annihilated Mono Black Devotion. That is fantastic stuff. Absolutely. Hopefully you annihilated um, Frexian Obliterator. My goodness. Hmm. Okay, 2018, good stuff. Certainly, I think I'll, I'll keep this hand. We got three lands, Heraldic Banner, Wayward Sword Tooth. I think it's reasonable enough. Certainly could be a lot worse, and I would hope to see something for two, two mixed in. I was like, oh, somebody's, I almost thought this was regular random ranked and uh, someone else playing dinos. Oh boy, I like I liked the looks of this. We got wayward for three, playing that castle game break. Oh, I'm not worried. It's all for fun. Whether you want to stream snipe, snipe or not, if you do, you may just be seeing your doom. Yeah. That's where it's at. Hmm. Heraldic Banner is a little bit more stable, of course, than Domri. I would imagine we get to Carnage Town. It would be nice if you could change your name. Maybe you can somehow if you email support on Arena. I imagine it's possible. It's got to be possible. Maybe you can pay 5,000 gold, 10,000 gold to change your name. And, huh. But of course, Carnage Town. But how many permanents do we have? Let's think. Let's think. We got five, six, seven with Wayward. A Domri and a Wayward? Nah. Nah. Redisor it is. I don't know. Carnage Town. What am I thinking? Carnage Town. Next turn. A bunch more stuff. Ooh, that is devastating. Oh, yes. Uh, I imagine if you make a story about it and you're just... Uh, Pretend distraught or something like that, huh? Okay. I imagine that's probably gonna work. But I definitely want Domri. We're gonna fight that Bone Crusher. I'm gonna play Wayward first, though. Oh, we're at 10 permanents. We're at 10 permanents. Beautiful. Look, look at that. 7, 5, 3, 
for a 7.5. That is, uh, that's nice. I'll take it. Oof, ouch. That is painful. Oh boy, oh boy. Scary, scary stuff. Your grandmother, bull shark dragon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You never know. That sounds like it could be a thing. Big ouchies, Victor. Yeah. Pretty legit. I must admit, you have enough cheap stuff at two, at three. You get the ten permits pretty good. Okay, okay. One down, one down. It's a trap! I don't know, what's a good one? I guess ruthless aggression. I am inevitable. Yeah, uh, I like that one. I haven't used that one quite a bit, but it maybe it is the case. Of course, I guess I am still on a streak. I won the matches. I won that game. Although Turbo Master took me down in painful fashion. We faced each other off and on, and again, if you want to face me sometime, somewhere, you can do it. But Terror of the Peaks, man, it is uh, it's painful stuff, Turbo Master. It does happen. Yeah, yeah, well, that was good. Next challenger, if anybody else is uh, interested, best of one, best of three. Oh, I do. I do, it is nice. It, certainly, if I'm not streaming or if I haven't streamed or in the morning, and especially you guys in Europe or just a different time zone, if you don't get to join me live, it's kind of nice we can connect that way, have a match, and get the job done. Time zones, absolutely, and that's that's another thing. When I do this more often, hopefully sooner rather than later, I can do a morning one for my European friends, or maybe, you know, at lunchtime, and then later at night, whatever makes the most sense, but, you know, two, two different times would be good. All right, Nash, absolutely. First come, first serve, whoever wants to start a match. Join it up. Join up. Huh. Or if you just want to, you know, stay watching. That's good. Well, 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 we'll leave it there for now, Scorpion. You know, we can whip something up at some point. Oh, the wrong... Ugh, man, I hate that. I hate that. That's definitely a painful thing, especially here if you accidentally choose the wrong one. Uh, and I certainly have enough. I make different variations, and some of the variations I haven't got to making the sideboard. So I do best of three, and hopefully it starts okay here. Can't re-challenge me. That is odd. Strange. It's not letting me select the deck. Weird. Maybe there's some sort of glitch going on. Let me try setting it up. Maybe I have to send it. Huh. Interesting. 
Huh, must be a glitch. We'll leave it there for now, but, uh, yeah. Yeah, if you see me online, chances are I'm playing on my phone. And, uh, yeah. Just send a chat, whether it's through Discord or through the in-game on Arena friend chat. And you can probably set something up, maybe do a match or a game or two. You can probably squeeze it in. I would imagine I just have to reclose it or something like that. Ooh, well, that's not a good hand. Finally getting a hand that's not so great, but certainly Mulligan, oh, it got quite a bit better. And look at that. Wow, that is, that is beautiful. Four lands, if we see a fifth one by turn four, we may just be seeing Carnage Tarrant. Okay, oh, okay, okay, there we go. We got it, maybe. Thieves Guild Enforcer. Oh, consider. Okay. It looked like the mere rogues, blue and black, flashy, death touch, mill. Yeah, well, I guess another challenge going, yeah, but definitely something was glitchy and messed up there. 100%. This isn't a viewer challenge, no. This is just a regular ranked match. Getting back into it because I just didn't want to reset Arena. Have things not reconnect properly. Yeah. Okay. Okay, well. Get a counter spell burnt on Grook's Uprising as opposed to Wayward Swordtooth. Okay, though they had negate, so maybe we would have been able to sneak in wayward sword tooth and then carnage turned after okay well that is also good i'll try from rotting plus wayward that'd be pretty good either way i'm gonna have six green next turn it doesn't really matter what happens at this point but this will gain us information I'll try it again, yeah. Let's try another viewer challenge. See if somehow it's working. Best of three. Best of three challenge match or explorer. I think maybe the wrong thing was being selected, perhaps. But if you set it up with a friend, it just directly connects. Usually it works out a lot smoother than that. The opponent's getting a little bit worried. We know they don't have a whole lot when they go with Memory Deluge. Extinction Event? Well, hopefully we draw out that. That'd be pretty good. Ooh, um, Field of Ruin. That's a little bit rough. Of course, we do have enough basics to healthily grab something. Pretty healthily. And again, if Marauding dies, it doesn't matter. We'll still be at... Okay, okay. That is something. We still get the Carnage Tarrant. Phew. No extinction event. Shielder's Edict. We simply sacrifice Wayward Sword Tooth to that. And... What's going to happen? No, ah, ah, you can't target it. Gotcha. I love it when they mouse over it. They're like, hey, that... Maybe they're thinking, that's not fair. I don't like that. Alright, well, maybe Domri gets dealt with. Hopefully that's not the case, though. Oh, oh, we're at 10. We're at 10. We're at 10 permanents. Go time. Go time. Woo! Oh, my goodness. Pretty good. Smacking them for... Well, okay, okay, the zombie trader, that's, that's not something I normally would expect. Let's take a look at that. Commence the end game. Can't be countered. Well, I don't have counter spells. 
but they paid six to draw two cards and then amass zombies x where x is the number of cards in their hand they had six so they paid six to draw two cards and make a six six token that's uh, that's pretty good pretty decent and it's an instant so you could do it at you know, any time like they did just there i don't remember when i've seen that card ever before one you war of the spark pre-release fantastic yeah i've never really seen that card work before victor but it is fantastic these obscure cards you go to a pre-release you have such a fantastic time and you have a lovely memory of how impactful they were maybe it doesn't happen too much more often but i just love stories like that cool huh. yeah uh, dirty blue players big time that's all right i got stuff to hate on that that might have been i don't know could have been two years since i've seen that i wouldn't be surprised if it's been two years longer hmm now, I could potentially name red. I only have one creature that is red. But the overwhelming majority are green, so I think I'll probably still stick to green. Or draw out a counter spell. Oh, another negate. Painful. Well, we'll try to smack him with marauding at the very least. We'll try to... Okay, okay, we... we Okay, we know what... Uh, yeah, yeah. I, uh, well, I'm not... Winning this one. I don't have shifting ceratops. Whew. That's painful. Demir control usually isn't. A mono blue Bruvac deck. Oh. Oh my goodness. A scorpion. That's like the dirtiest of the dirty. Bruvac. Whenever an opponent mills cards, they mill twice that amount. Something like that. If you would mill 10 from the opponent, you actually mill 20. Not great, not great. Yeah, I'll mostly wait to see what I draw next turn, just because I'm curious at this point. Oh, Fleet Stall. Oh, not a dastardly Fleet Swallower. That's like a, a one-hit Fleet Swallower, I believe, when it enters uh, target opponent mills half their library. So if it's doubled, it's their whole library. Okay, well, usually when you... yeah. Carpalus and Forest will do it. Rough. Now the question becomes, we've seen a lot of lands quite often. Is that really because it's 23? One higher than the 22. Technically 24, because again, I kind of consider Castle Garenbreak two lands. If you get to five lands, and one of them is this, is it like you have six? Because you can make six green. And if the overwhelming majority of stuff in the deck is green creatures, maybe that could be kind of considered as such. However, Trainix Rex, Shifting Ceratops, Tranquil Frill, yeah, we're Tranquil Frill back. Yeah, 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 yeah we're doing that. Trim Ripjaw. Yeah, pretty straightforward, I think. Mesmeric Orb. Ooh, Fleet. <laughs> Yeah, Azorius, yeah, it's probably the worst match. Yeah, I don't like it too much. I don't face it a whole lot. I mean, I could spread out the sideboard quite a bit, but I still think there's a reasonable chance I'll get it done against Lotus Field without having Alpine Moon, Damping Sphere, something to make Lotus Field only tap for one mana or a colorless. That specific hate. I think I'd rather have a bunch of sweepers that would be more useful against more stuff. Three or four sweepers. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I see that challenge match. We'll get into it. We'll get into, into it after uh, we finish this. I think it doesn't go away if you want to leave it up. We'll see. But it's nice that the matches are returning. Don't really like this, but... Oh. 
keep it. Don't keep it. I'll take a risk. I'm gonna take that risk and I think there's a good chance, two chances at least, that I will get to the third land for Heraldic Banner and hope they don't have a negate. I didn't want to go down another card. Ah, I'm gonna try and go get him. Absolutely. Oh, when it attacks, it mills half. Round it up. That is pretty good. Getting to target different stuff, I must admit. That's that's nice. Absolutely. Absolutely. Hmm. I mean, maybe not so much with this match. Uh, can't keep mulliganing forever. But still, I thought it was you know, pretty reasonable. Heraldic Banner, pretty stable ramp, and the boost in power, always nice. Hopefully it's land that enters taps. No neg oh, no negate. Oh, no, oh, we got it, we got it. They don't have negate. Heraldic Banner for three. Whew, cheering. Uh, I should have a clip where it's a bunch of people just cheering when I take a risk and it works out. I would imagine they have uh, Shieldred's Edict, something like that, but they probably have a counter spell of some sort. We'll play shifting the safest thing. We use all available mana as well, so it's also pretty good. I should think about that. Yeah, that. I jinxed myself, didn't I? I always do that. Eh. We could get a Carnage Tyrant next turn. If I draw a fourth land, we'll be able to do Castle Garenbrig's ability. Well, that's not a fourth land, but hey, Huntmaster for two, uh, Wayward for two. Something. Something good has to happen. Eventually. Well, it's not. Okay, change the equation. Painful. Where is Cavern of Souls when you need it? It's about a month away or so. Now let's go with the Wayward Sword Tooth. We'll get to that fifth mana. Or the sixth green at some point. Go! Oh! Wayward Swordtooth wasn't doing anything, so it's nice we drew out a second to change the equation. Hopefully there's not a third. Oh, they just... Uh, okay. Cavern of Souls. Start chanting with me. Cavern. That would have helped us out. I think I will just play the whole place out of Cavern. Okay. It's a trap! Better not be a trap. Okay, good. That happened instantaneously. I'll just play Tranquil Frill back. They have nothing. Let's get more bodies. Four power for two. Pretty decent. We don't get to use Tranquil Frill back's ability of paying green to exile graveyard or artifact or whatever, but we used up all our mana. We get to choose what to sacrifice. And if I had only played Marauding, I'd. I would have done that. Good, good. I wouldn't have been able to do that if Marauding was the only creature. Phew, phew. But yeah, some some Phoenix to play against Edict. Absolutely, that'd be nice. Rekindling Phoenix was stunning during its time in Standard. I had a, a pesky time of it. I did use Death Court Scavenger though, eating that fried chicken taking out Rekindling Phoenix while it was in the graveyard. Before that token was sacrificed, I, I would attack. Rekindling would, Phoenix would block somebody. And then I'd play, okay, well, yeah, no. Yeah. We'll, uh, we'll just do that. Huh. Ruthless aggression. That's pretty ruthless. Big time. 
yeah, speaking of Rekindling Phoenix, it would block one of my creatures when I attack and then I play Death Court Scavenger in the second main phase to chomp and eat the fried chicken and not have to worry about it coming back. That was good. Removing Dinos with Extinction, it doesn't get much more of a flavor win than that. Fortunately, sometimes I can have a decent spread. It's not one-sided. Regisaur is odd. Tyrannix Rex is odd. I must admit, having maybe a Carnage Tarrant and a Tyrannix Rex out, you don't lose both to Extinction Event. And it might have been the only way that the opponent could have dealt with these big scary dinos. Yeah, I'd keep it like that. 20 lands, 30 counter spells, 10 whatevers. The dinosaurs will make a comeback. Big time. I mean, it's, it's pretty good to persevere through that. And, uh, this hand looks amazing. Look at all the cost reduction. If they have a counter spell, wow, they, they better have a bunch. Fatal push, counter spell, counter spell, fatal push. We still might get the job done. P uh, possibly. At least a few Tyrannix Rexes, maybe two Tyrannix Rex. You want a total of six big scary, excuse me, the pop is getting to me. But six big scary dinos, four Carnage Tyrant, two Tyrannix Rex, three and three. Maybe like Carnage Tyrant because it is one less than Tyrannix Rex. And you're like, oh yeah, I like that better. Four Carnage, three T-Rex, but definitely probably a few T-Rexes. Well, it begins. Fatal push. Consider. The opponent is considering about conceding. They're like, oh, I don't want to deal with all this nonsense. They might. They might, Scorpion. You, you never know. Yeah. Oh. Oh. But I do know I like to see Wayward. Marauding for one. Another Marauding for one. Things are... Well, I guess not going to be so good. Change the equation. Okay. Okay. We could go double Marauding next turn. Heraldic Banner for three and then Marauding for two. Oh boy. Well, they waited quite a bit. They're thinking about doing something and they might not be able to do anything. You know what? Yeah, I'm going to try for that heraldic banner. Oh, cross your fingers. Negate. Huh. Ooh, nuts. I was thinking maybe it would have been better to go marauding for two. I would have been left with another two after they... Well, they did that, but uh, that's okay. A temporary bounce or delayed bounces, I guess you could say. They do have a few things, and I've used it in the past. Um, Semester's End, actually, is probably one of my favorites. You have to splash white. Maybe I'll bring that up after we're done the match here. Yeah, if I had to choose, it would be Semester's End from Strixhaven. Huh. Yeah, you know what? I like a hasty shifting Ceratops. That's probably the best thing at the moment. Yeah, definitely. Show it on Discord. I think a lot of us would be interested in the potential of Semester's End. It really packs a punch. Oh, no, oh, no. Oh. Double checking, I don't need all three red. And I'm at least left with one for marauding. Wayward for one. Beautiful. Chrome host seed shark cannot block shifting because protection from blue yeah, means it can't. We're at nine permanents. We could maybe get to ten next turn, I would imagine. Absolutely. Absolutely. Luca can't. Although I'm not sure if it's creature spells exiled with Luca's ability specifically or just any creature is exiled anyway.
Luca would be nice. Oh, oh, uh, for five. Well, that's a darn good meat hook massacre. Taking out everything. Painful. And that, uh, that thing's going to be big. A seven, seven. I'm going to get something down soon. Not a land. I, I don't need a land. I mean, meat hook massacre does the trick. Certainly, if the game has gone long, that is, uh, yeah, that's gonna, that's gonna do it. Even if we have hexproof stuff like Carnage Tarrant, would have been nice to have Carnage Tarrant out. Six toughness. They paid five for that meat hook massacre. Okay, okay, we got a thing. Let's hope it's not a counter spell. Not. Seven, four. Yeah. yeah, not attacking. They can make all of the storm giants a creature. I'm not doing that. Minsk and Boo, yeah. Alright, I will have to end this. Afterwards. After I'm done here. My mom wants to get to sleep. Seven. I don't like seven. Let's try and take it out. They might have removal for one of our creatures, but hopefully not. Oh, okay. Okay, that, uh... Well, well, we'll wait and see what we draw. Let's, let's wait and see. More of a Fallout guy. Okay, so the Fallout... Secret Lair, I believe it is. That's coming out soon. That should be right up your alley, huh? Heraldic Banner will not do the trick. Nuts. That's okay. We've seen absolutely fantastic potential tonight. Lovely, lovely variation. I'll still be grinding this. That's for sure. Get a lot of reps. Big time. All right. Have a good night. We'll play, we'll play maybe sometime later tonight. I'll let my mom get some rest in the guest bed. Yeah, I'll leave it there for now. Have a good rest of your night, everybody. Morning, evening, afternoon, whenever it is. Commander deck. Ha. Huh. A Minsk and Boo commander deck. That would be good. There's so much potential. Xenagos as well, which I wasn't using tonight, but I will. I will. Yeah, good games all around, whether it's facing some of you guys or random people. All right. Have a good rest of your time zone. Peace.